Ron Swoboda, great baseball player, would admit, he does it in his book, that he's not the greatest Mets player ever, but without a doubt, he did make the greatest catch in Mets history. And there's a drive to right center. Swoboda comes up with it, the tag at third. Here comes Frank Robinson. The game is tied. Ron Swoboda making another sensational catch for the Mets. Those were the days. The miracle <laughs> catch happened 50 years ago this year. In the 1969 World Series, the Mets went on to win that game, the, the series. Uh, Ron, who has worked and lived here in New Orleans since the 80s, is out with a new book called Here's the Catch, a Memoir of the Miracle Mets and More. Uh, and glad to have you in. And I, you. I, 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 I've you. known you since, since the 80s when you came here. I, I remember the first time, because I grew up in St. Louis, so I was a St. Louis Cardinals fan, and we would play you guys a lot. I was in high school at the time. And, and uh, w when, you first, when you first came to town and somebody introduced me to you and I go, whoa, it's Ron Swoboda. <laughs> this bum that used to come <laughs> in and try to beat my team, right? Now. But, but uh, and let's talk about that because this is a very personal book for you. It's a very special yes. year for you too. It is, look, 50 years has gone, I couldn't tell you where, but um, the idea that we're gonna celebrate this miracle that happened to a bunch of us guys and we were guys for the most part. Most yeah. of the guys on that team were just players who somehow came up with some synergy behind great pitchers like Tom Seaver and Jerry Kuzman and Tug McGraw and Nolan Ryan was Because you that played team. with a lot of greats. Um, yeah, and I always felt like a guy. There was an expression in baseball, he's just a guy. It's, it's not meant derisively, it just meant you're an average player, you're, you know, you're lucky to be there. And now let's talk about that, that, that 69 series where you made the miracle catch. You guys were playing the Orioles, and, and the Mets had never won a World Series. Uh, we were huge underdogs, as oh, we yeah. should have been. And, you know, the Orioles go on and win it the next year, and they roll to a World Series win. Uh, everything that seemed to happen to us in that World Series happened for us. Uh, we made all the catches, except for the very first play in the series, I let a ball get over my head for a home run. We catch everything else. Yeah. Every break, every bounce went out. Well, our way. and then in game five, when you guys finally won, you drove in the winning run. And I, one would think that would be the thing Mets fans would remember, because that's what gave them the this, this series. Well, I, what made that stand out for me is there was a side-arming right-handed pitcher, Eddie Watt, who was pitching. Hodges normally would pinch hit, but because. I was hot. Okay. Yeah, the manager, and, and he would normally pinch hit for me. I got to hit in that situation and slapped one down the left field line that uh, the, the Orioles didn't catch, which, you know, I would have wanted to catch that ball. Yeah. But it turns into the winning run. We win the World Series, and all of a sudden, you're, you're celebrated in New York and in a way that you, you can't fathom. When you make it there, you make it anywhere. And, it was, and I'll tell you what, the book really is a great read. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoy reading it, but I may be a little biased because you talk a lot about, you know, my St. Louis Cardinals in there yep. and, and your respect for, for a guy like Bob Gibson, one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Bob Gibson did not want you to hit a foul ball. He was that competitive. Um, I always said to somebody, uh, he was in a hurry. You know, he wanted the ball, get you out. Um, he could shut you out in two hours. And I, I, he pitched like a guy who was double parked outside with a gallon of ice cream in the trunk, okay? <laughs> I mean, he was in a hurry. And the thing is, if, if you're not a baseball fan, and this is not a huge baseball town, yeah. uh, the personal story in there is really good. You, you did a great job writing it, Ron. I, I tried to, you know, Red Smith, uh, the, one of the great, maybe the greatest baseball writer in my estimation in New York, uh, said, it's easy to write. All you do is open a vein. <laughs> and and you, you opened a good vein. I tried right. to. <laughs> Ron has several book signings this week, including tonight at 6 p.m. at Octavia Books. He'll be at Barnes & Noble in Metairie on Wednesday night and then at the uh, Garden District Bookstore on Thursday night. The book is available everywhere starting today. Really is a good read. Uh, we have a link to his publisher's website on our website at wwltv.com.